Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and I'm actually going to do a video, a screencast, on this program I use to screencast, and that's Cam Studio. Now, I know I've done a video like this in the past, but I always get questions on, like, how does your cursor look like so and so, and how do you get, you know, what settings do you use, and how do you screencast it? Well, if you guys haven't seen my older videos, I use the, uh, the new beta version of Cam Studio. You can get this at camstudio.org. I'll leave the video. I'll leave the link in the video description. So um, it originally looks like this, and you're gonna have your own default settings. And with the default settings, the actual recording when you record, it's not s cynic. Right? It doesn't. The audio doesn't match with your video. Uh, so you're gonna want, first off, you have your file. You know, your simple record, stop, pause. Now this isn't meant to record games. More tutorials or just show your screen. You know to uh you know not meant to capture games you can look into fraps or taxi for that matter this is just a screen casting for more tutorials stuff like that so with the new beta version you have uh you know the regions you can record in you have the region uh a fixed region the region has its it's like has a default i'm not sure what the default size is but you can fix your own region and set your own mark for better quality i like using 320 by 240 because that's what youtube's layout or uh, youtube size is so it doesn't butch the audio, butch up the quality that much. Uh, window, you just click on a specific window and it'll just record. Like for example, if I click window and then I clicked Firefox, it would just record that window and that's it. Um, full screen, obviously, is just you know the whole screen, and uh, then it goes into uh, options. You have your video options now. I'll show you my recommended settings. I use the compressor. Compressor is a uh, type of a uh, codec that compresses your file together after it's been uh, after it's been rendered it'll make it smaller so I use a cam it's called cam studio losses codec you can download that I'll get the link to that in the video description as well and it comes with other stuff like I think you're on Microsoft video one by default you don't want to be on that because that compresses it to a larger file rather than a smaller file you can use a cam studio losses codec uh, other ones recommended are divix divix codec is a good one um, so yeah, and if you guys want to see more tutorials on this uh, Cam Studio, uh, Jimmy R. Com makes great, great, great tutorials on this. Sorry, I accidentally did something there. Jimmy R. Com is his name. I'm sure you guys heard of him. He does great tutorials on Cam Studio. Now you can configure your codec by right there. Uh, if you have the Cam Studio Lost Codec, you can configure for LZO, which is fast encoding, or GZIP, which is more higher. I'm pretty sure that's higher quality. It takes a, l a while takes longer to encode and render the whole uh, video after. I use about 90, 85 to 90 uh, quality. I don't like to put it all the way up because it, you know, makes the file bigger. I use uh, set keyframes. I use auto adjust and I just drag it right about here so it's 33 uh, set keyframes every 33 frames. It captures every 30 milliseconds and playback rate of 33 frames a second. And you can just auto adjust that if you want. Those are, those are my settings and it fits well. Next, cursor options. People always ask me about this now. Cursors, guys. Guys, the light you see right there that's blinking when I'm clicking. And like that, red, blue, yellow. It's not my actual cursor. It's this program that's hi uh, specifically doing it. You want to show your cursor. Use actual cursor or you can use your own custom cursor if you want. Highlight cursor, that's the thing that uh, shows a little bubble. And then you're going to want to look... You, use enable visual feedback which is when I click on my left button it makes it flash blue right it does red and you can set that right here you can change it to ellipse square rectangle and you can change the color and everything like that so it's really 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 helpful especially when you're pointing out stuff now you can not record audio if you want but I would highly recommend you record audio I mean I know a lot of people have screencasted before and just use notepad to you know put what they're doing but it's harder for the user to keep up so if you have a microphone, guys, go ahead and, you know, um, record uh, audio. So just set it to record audio for microphone. Then you're going to go into audio options for microphone. Uh, I like mine set at 22.05 kilohertz stereo 16-bit uh, with an MPEG layer 3 or another good uh, codec for audio is lossless, uh, lossless codec. I'll get that into the video description as well. And if you have some uh, interleave problems, which is you know syncing with your audio, I like this. You don't have to do if you don't have uh, audio and video problems. I would do test like see if uh, my, what I do. I like I say for example, I say Internet Explorer, Mozilla, local C disk. I do test like that just to see if the audio is synced 
with the video. So when I click iTunes and I say iTunes at the exact same time, sometimes when I re when you rewatch it, I'll say iTunes like you know three seconds later it's off it, the audio's off. So I inter I interleave my audio every hundred milliseconds. Now you don't have to do that if you're not having uh, syncing problems. I use MCI recording. Uh, that's up to you. It's a system method for audio recording, and I, you can set your device right here, and you can adjust the volume and all that stuff. Okay, getting into more audio options for video oh, video synchronization synchronization. That's another thing for uh. See right here, my audio goes before my video. I hear the words before I see the mouth movements. See, that's the exact same thing, and you can use that time shift if you need to. Uh, now, enable auto pan is what you want to use by default. Auto pan is not enabled. That is when I move my mouse a uh, significant amount to left, right, up, down. It follows, as you see, the the video follows. Now, by default, you actually have to grab onto it and move the flashing rectangle around the region around so you can enable auto pan and I would recommend about a hundred speed just right so program options you can get into that if you want to set some default stuff like if you want the, to play the AVI file it goes into AVI uh, that's what it encodes the video too and you can make an SWF or flash files and keyboard shortcuts I would really recommend using and just uh, if you want to toggle the view right here is your view toggle so as you see there and SWF files and you can get effects like add time marks or time stamps which tells how long you're going into the video uh, it's good for 10 minute limits captions you can add captions throughout the video or watermark a watermark would be like a logo saying your website or whatever you want to add screen annotations kind of the same thing video annotations and it converts AVI to flash if you need a flash video and then the view is the same thing as hitting this button right here and lastly the help so guys that's just a quick run through of cam studio not really quick but anyways guys uh... one last note really pay attention to this it shows your current frames time elapsed uh... number of colors codec you're using actual input rate and the dimension which is the size again those are my recommended settings and i'll give you all the links to codecs and downloads in the video description to your right for more uh, great tutorials on Cam Studio. I highly recommend you check out Jimmy.com. If you haven't checked them out, head over to www.youtube.com slash JimmyRcom. Thanks guys for watching and uh, hope you download Cam Studio. It, uh, it's free guys. It's open, so open source. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's open source. It's a free program guys. This is the beta version. There's another version if you want to use that for more solid you know, recording, but I haven't had any problems with the beta. It works on Vista and uh, XP. You might have to run it in compatibility mode for in Vista for uh, Service Pack 2. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.